Hi everyone, Mike Zero Kilo November Mike. Um, if you remember, my last video was uh, I couldn't do the contest. Um, that I wanted to do live because uh, FL Digi wasn't working for some reason with uh, N One MM. Um, now I have spent all day today. Uh, what's today? It's third, well, it's now early hours, Friday morning, but uh, all day Thursday, um, I've spent, and I think I've just now sorted it. Um, so, as you can see, I am, um, I've got N1MM running. If I switch to this one, Okay, you can't really see that at the moment. It's over here. Okay, just a second. Right, so right here, you can see it's connected to computer. Can't really get that focusing in properly. But right there, underneath the zero, uh, sorry, on top of the zero, we'll see a little, see a little icon. It says PC. What do we get closer? And it doesn't make that any better. Um, so it's connected to the um to the radio. I'm going to um back to here and <clears throat> um, I'm going to open up the digital interface right here and if I just turn that up a little tiny bit I don't want it too much <clears throat> Um, yeah, there's obviously nothing in the background. Now, if I press uh, tune, it should key the radio. If you look over here yeah, by the radio, uh, uh, might be better if I put that one up. So if I press tune, here we go. Back out. And it works now it might be a bug or something i don't know but if i press tune again it may not kick in for a little while yeah there we go so i've pushed it already and it's deciding not to not to key the radio right but if i come down to here down to the tx um on the on the little window and I push TX it keys the radio push RX it goes back in a receive now I think my op uh, my my problem let me just mute that I think the problem I had if we go to configure um right this is the rig control for the radio uh com port 3 ts2000 um and if i go this is all i've all i've changed so if i go set all i've changed is i've turned all of these on now i can't remember i'm pretty sure if i undo that it still would work I think I added, I, I ticked that afterwards because I was testing something out. So I've had, I, I had these ticked here, which okay. Uh, digital mode, uh, I made sure it was uh, AFSK. Um, and then the only thing I changed here was these on mode control. 
uh, use radio mode default, and I'll put it as USB and USB for RTTY and digital. Uh, those are the only things that I've changed. That will restart. I'll just test that now. There we go. So, after a very long, grueling day, um, that I think I've sorted it, um, which I did think I would uh, I would sort it out. Um, but it just took me a matter of time to work things out. Um, like I said in, in the previous video, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of menu that I haven't ticked or haven't looked at. Um, but it's in front of me and all along it, it was. So, uh, so also, um, with, um, so with it, uh, TX in via FL Digi as well, I've also got it. Um, on the band plan to change as I change which is what I wanted because for some reason beforehand it wouldn't let me do that I had to take off the cat control for the login software to be able to use um, FL Digi but I, know that, I knew that that was wrong because I had it working previously so, after a long, early day, we got it finished, and it is now early hours of the morning, and it is uh, it is now bedtime. Um, so, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'd like to hear from you if you've had any issues like this before. This was quite a headache for me. I just had to kind of take a seat back relax a little and then and then get back into it but uh so uh i'll say 73s and uh i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching